Hey guys, what's going on? So, after many requests, I have decided to do a Top 10 Pets episode. Before we get started, I'm going to tell you that there will only be a couple of timed pets in this list because one thing you guys may not have known is that once your character reaches level 69, you won't be able to surge pets to level 70 unless they're at least evolution level 6. So for that reason, there's only going to be a couple in here, ones that I think are even worth it at Evo 0 and stuck at level 69 for a while. So without further ado, let's get into it. First pet, so our number 10 pet is going to be Pyro Tour. I am choosing him for number 10 because once you get him to a pretty decent level, he's a really nice tank. His rare skill is amazing for PvP, as long as your opponent is in transform to Captain Sam. And his second skill is also great, stuns the enemy for 3 seconds, which is nothing to joke about. That's actually 3 seconds is a very long time in a PvP match, when they can't do anything. So for number 9, we're going to be going down and checking out Grubbly. He's our number 9 pet. Very good for a dodge user. Actually even good for a non-dodge user because boosting dodge by 90 for 8 seconds is, is also quite a big deal. You'll be seeing a lot of misses while his rare skill is activated. Also, he can slow down your enemies, shackles the enemy for 3 seconds, and also this skill slows them down, so also can be very annoying for your opponent. So for number 8 we have the good old Boxer. Boxer is here because while he doesn't do very much damage, his rare skill is very good for PvP, silences your opponent for 5 seconds, 5.7 seconds, and he can also heal you over time and of course extremely easy to evolve. One of the easiest pets because you can also get his soul stones in the treasure box. Next we have... where is she? Spirit Maiden. Spirit Maiden is really great, especially for sticky situations where you're close to death. Her rare skill is, is really awesome, so 8% of lost HP every second. It lasts 2 seconds, so that means she heals 16% of your lost HP. This means if you're very low on health, you'll get basically 16% of your max life back. And it has a cooldown of 5 seconds. So if you can keep her alive, get some really good awakening skills on her to make her a decent tank, she will make it so where you can survive a very long time in a hard PvP fight. Or even in a team instance, a really hard team instance or a quest or an elite challenge or whatever. She's really good for all those things. For number 6, we have... Hades. Hades is probably the best support pet there is. With his rare skill, 4000 damage reduction, and a very short cooldown of 10 seconds. Also, the mana cost isn't too high, only 100 mana. So, basically, when you're using Hades, you can actually have 4000 damage reduction half of the time, since it lasts 5 seconds and there's a cooldown of 10 seconds. Also, with this, with his second skill, he summons a lot of minions that will help and distract the enemy, and also can deal quite a quite a bit of damage and last 40 seconds. So, very very nice pet Hades is. Next is a timed pet, Skeleton King. Even at Evo Zero, he is he is really good. So his rare skill has a very wide effect, wide area of effect and it slows down the enemy, and if they're not actually able to get out of that area in a few seconds, they're then stunned there for two seconds. So, very, very annoying rare skill for your opponent. Also, another stun skill, which also deals quite a bit of damage, and the spinning attack is very dangerous. Well, one thing I did notice about Skeleton King's this Blade Vortex at attack here, if you're really close to him, if you get your opponent really close to where he's spinning, he will actually get hit by all six vortexes and it will deal so much damage, insane damage, similar to the Ice Phoenix. So up for number four we have Phoenix. 
Phoenix I just recently started going for really started to farm, and that's because of another pet, which we'll get into a little bit. Sorry for the spoiler. Phoenix is is a really good pet on its own, but amazing when paired with another pet. Okay, Ice Phoenix. I'm going to say it now. Its rare skill is very interesting. It's a little bit complicated, as you can see from all the text, but basically really good in quest mode when you're trying to 3-star. If you can kill a lot of those little enemies while her rare skill is active, then the skill you use to kill them will be a lot, a lot stronger and you'll deal a lot more damage. And also has some pretty good area of effect. I think this is the area of effect attack. So, uh, Phoenix is really good on its own, but even better when paired with Ice Phoenix. So, with that being said, we're gonna go down to the last, the second and last timed pet, which is the Undead Captain. The Undead Captain is also really good at Evo Zero just because of his transform. I may stop using him after about level 75 or so when I can't, won't be able to raise him past level 69 because of this stuff that I was talking about in the beginning, but not them not being able to break your parry is very, I would say, very powerful. And also the skills he can use, you can use while you're transformed are extremely strong. 1070% damage. That's nothing to joke about, That's that, that is insane damage. And then also this one I don't actually use very much while I'm transformed because he stops and throws his sword up into the air and actually doesn't do much damage. So really, I'm just focused on this one and his main skill, which also breaks their parry very fast while they can't break yours. So a very powerful timed pet even at Evo Zero. Number two on the list is going to have to be Boric. Boric, his soul stones are quite hard to get, so unless you're doing really really well in PvP and you can at least remain in the top 10, um, his souls you can't even get more than 2 or 3 per day unless you're in the... I think if you're rank number 1, you can get guaranteed 4 souls a day. So he is very hard to evolve, but he's not a timed pet, and therefore you can eventually get him to that at least Evo 6 mark to get him to level 70 and above. You do, need, you do need Evo 7 for level 75 pets, etc. It goes on like that, so... Okay, anyway, getting on to the number one pet, you've probably already guessed this, but even so, let's do it. Number one pet, gonna have to be Ice Phoenix, because, firstly, pairs up very, very well with, with Phoenix, which is the number four pet on this list. Also, very easy to evolve, can get between 20 to 22 souls per day, depending on how hardcore you're going to farm them. Very, very strong uh, second skill here, 867% damage, freezes for 3 seconds, amazing skill. Also her rare skill is very good, 85% 80, damage uh, like mitigation, so you're basically only going to be taking 15% of their whole damage, which basically makes it so where you're taking almost no damage at all. So Ice Phoenix has to is my favorite pet. Of course, top 10 pets, top 10 anything is going to be rather objective, and this is my opinion, but yours may differ, etc. You guys asked for it, so there it is. Those are my top 10 pets, my favorite 10 pets, I would say. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.